Well, hello, it's Pastor Janet again, and I'm here with an activity for us to do today. It is the second Sunday in Advent. Last week, we didn't do an activity because it was the Thanksgiving weekend, and we took a little time off. So this week for our activity, instead of an experiment, we're gonna make something. We're gonna make an Advent wreath for you to have in your room or for your parents to have on their table. And what we need to make this is um, either a milk or water jug. It doesn't matter which, just a jug. And uh, a couple markers. The, these are permanent markers that are blue and yellow. Those are optional, but they work pretty good for me. Some tape, some clear tape, a scissors, and something called tea lights. Now, if you're from Hope Blues, they're in your advent packets. There were little tea lights that were sent to your parents. Those ones are ones that have a wick in them and light up. But um, I suggest if you're one of the kids and you don't have parents with you, that you get some of these plastic ones. Your mom and dad might have them somewhere around the house with decorations. Plastic ones work really good and they won't start fires. If you're going to use the ones with wicks, you have to have an adult there to help you light them. Otherwise, you could cause a big problem, okay? So, how are we gonna start? Well, we'll start by, we'll take our water jug. I have a water jug, a milk jug looks just fine. Doesn't matter which one. Take your jug, and what you wanna do with your scissors is cut down this way and cut down so that you cut off the handle. Cut right below the handle there. Some of them have little lines there, and some of them don't. But if you do, it's it's easy enough to do. You just take it like this. You start on the on the part where the water the just comes in. Take your scissors and put it in there, and start cutting down. Now you might not, if you're a young enough kid, you might need to have an adult start it for you. But that's okay. Sometimes we all need a little help. So you cut it down to where you're below where that top part is. And I've already done it once just so that we can save on some time. I cut the top off. But you see, I came from came from on top there, cut down, and then I just cut that part off. We're just gonna set that part to the side. It'll be garbage, we don't need it. So what you end up with is a bottom. Now, you have the sticker, don't worry about it. it you're gonna not use that part anyway. So it's all good. If you want to worry about taking it off, you can, but otherwise it's all good. So what we need to do next is we're going to cut, so just the corners are up. So we're gonna cut out this middle part of each one. How do you know? Well, what to do? In these ones that are water ones, there are little marks over here on the side and there's a little line on the bottom, but in milk jugs, there might not be. How you see it in a milk jug or whatever, I'm gonna kinda of do this so you can see it angle. Do you see where that fold is there? You cut on those lines in each corner. Each corner has them, cut, 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 okay? So you cut on each of those lines like this. You find the line and you just cut down. Like I said, on mine, there's, there's a little, a little plastic line on the bottom that kind of gives you an idea how deep to go. Otherwise, if yours doesn't have it, I went about a thumb width from the bottom. About a thumb width, okay? So you cut them out like that. Now, I've already done that too on one of mine because I didn't want this to take too long. If you need to, you can stop the video and you can do it so that um, you do the part and then come back to it. But see, I've cut I've cut this part out on three of them. Here is my fourth one then. Cut it down and I'll cut it down. There we go, got them all cut down. So now what we do next is we cut straight across from, from, from one side, one edge, to the next edge. We cut the square in the middle out. I'll do one and show you what the square looks like. So cut a square out so it looks like this. Can you see it? Here, put it a little closer. See, it's you cut the square in the middle out. So you do that on all four sides again. Cut the square in the middle out. Square in the middle out. See why I did all the rest of it 
first because it gets so it takes some extra time to do it. And you, sometimes it is something that you guys don't all want to sit and watch. So we got all squares cut out. So what you have now, you have the makings of your candles. All four of these are going to be like your candles. They look kind of like candles, but you know what would make them look more like candles? If they have flame on the top. So luckily for us, we have extra pieces of plastic and we can make some flame. So you take your plastic and to make a flame, you make like a smiley face first. You, you just cut a curve like a smile. Cut a curve like a smile once. See how we did that? Curve like a smile. No. You turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. A curve like a smile. Two curves makes a perfectly wonderful top for your candle. It looks like, it looks like your um, fire for the candle or a flame. So once you've got them all cut, I'm not gonna cut them off, then that's where the tape comes in. Now, just good, regular, this is scotch tape, but any good tape will work. And the nice thing about this is if it comes off, you can do it again. So you just put the tape on, I don't know if you can see where I put the tape on, just across the back of it. You put it behind one of your candles, like this, and you just tape it on. If you want to, you can tape across the other side too. I didn't on this one. And if it seems like it's a little flimsy, just add some more tape around all the way around it because the tape doesn't show and it works really good. All right, I've got one over here where I did all of mine and got all of the flames. Then I took some markers. You can do markers any way you want. All I did was I kind of outlined the candle in blue and then I kind of did the flame in some orange. Can you see the outline I made there? It's outlined them, but you can color them all the way in or you could paint them. You could do lots of different things. If you have washable marker, just be careful though, because that might wipe off really easy. That's why I was using permanent markers. You can do it. You just got with washable markers. You just got to give it enough time to dry before you touch it. Otherwise you'll have washable marker all over your hand and your clothes. Okay, so I have all four of them with my flames. Then I'm going to take my plastic ones that have plastic candles. So you can turn one on, put it inside. Like I said, you can also do the ones that you have to um, light, but you have to have an adult to do it because otherwise, somebody might get hurt, and these are plastic things. You can also decorate them by putting cute other things in, like um, really neat uh, oats and greenery or things like that, or pretty bulbs in there. Let me get closer. Can you see how it shines like that? I think, I think, I'm gonna turn off the light for just a minute so you can see it shine. Now you can see it. We made ourselves an Advent light. For each week, we light another one on, San on Sundays. We say our prayers and our devotions and sing our song in church. And you can do it along with us because now you have an Advent wreath. Well, we hope you had fun. It was kind of a silly, fun little project that we got to recycle a bunch of old things. And we hope that you will come back again next week and we'll have some other kind of activity for you. We love you. We hope you're staying safe. And we hope you're being uh, very smart with the things you do and being kind to each other. We'll see you next week.